sparks flying. Edward Clement is running on rims when even spike strips can't stop him. He outruns police for roughly 80 miles from Spring Street in Medford. Basically, you have a 4,000 pound bullet traveling down the, the road that can injure passerbys. To Weed, California, where he holds police at bay for hours. Something was going on in his mind that thought that he needed to run from the police. Police say Clement showing a knife, waving it around violently. Open the door. That's when the beanbags came out, firing rounds into his truck. Police and canine units surround him, hoping for a peaceful ending, which eventually comes four hours after it began. Clement facing some serious charges. The eluding took place in two jurisdictions. It took place here in Jackson County and also in Siskiyou County. So he could potentially be held responsible for the same crime occurring in two separate counties. This isn't the first time NBC5 News caught a pursuit on tape. In February, a high-speed chase involving a stolen truck. <laughs> This time, spike strips sending the driver out of control, crashing into a ditch. It's taxing on our resources, certainly, and I, it's hard to see what the expense is, but it's not cheap. And Medford Police Lieutenant Mike Bedreau says so far this year, they've seen 12 police pursuits. That's up from nine the same time last year. Crime is up, and with it, those pursuits. We're about an 8% increase over last year, so we're still going up, and we're seeing eludes going up about the same pace. So I think they go hand in hand with criminal activity. While no one has a handle on how much this weekend's chase cost police and time or money yet, they know it took four different agencies to stop Clement's morning ride. In Weed, Jennifer Elliott, NBC5 News.